guys, so I wanted to give you guys kind of a little update and talk about my pregnancy and being a nurse and yada yada. I mentioned a couple times that I don't want my channel to just be solely focused on my pregnancy. I want to keep it very much nursing related, but I've had so many of you guys ask me questions about how I'm managing at work, how my time off is going to work, things I'm allowed to do, things I'm not allowed to do, and so I wanted to kind of just run through and do a quick video. But first, I wanted to update you with how I'm doing just briefly. I'm feeling pretty great right now, not nauseous. I'm doing a lot better. I'm in my second trimester. I will be 17 weeks in just a couple days. I'm not sure when this video will go up, so I'm sure I'll be a little further along by the time this video goes up. But for the most part, I've been doing great. Um, so no complaints as far as that goes. But a lot of you guys ask, like, what things am I allowed to do at work or not allowed to do? What modifications have I had to make? And honestly, not a whole lot, but then again, at the same time, I definitely had to make some modifications. So my managers and in charge nurses and everyone's been super great and super understanding of the fact that I'm pregnant and I can't take certain assignments or just giving me appropriate patient assignments. Like they're not giving me patients that are super duper heavy, like weight wise, or patients that are maybe super violent or at risk for being aggressive, or patients that have the flu, or chicken pox, or CMV, TB, anything that is viral or potentially could transfer from me to the baby. So they've been really great at that. I had, I've only had a couple instances where maybe the, the night shift um, charge who was writing the assignments wasn't aware that I was pregnant and they gave me something, but we've always caught it and have made sure that I didn't get that assignment. So it really has been, they've been so understanding. I am, they ha, if I'm not allowed to take a patient assignment and they've already assigned it to me, all my coworkers have been awesome at like saying, oh, hey, I'll take that, you take my assignment. Um, I'll take that patient or the assignment, whatever. So um, that's been really great. But as far as modifications goes, I haven't had to adjust too, too much. Um, I've of course, I'm, a, I can't talk. I of course am being very safe and careful when it comes to boosting, lifting, turning patients, squatting down, standing up. I'm very much aware and listening to my body as far as like, I can tell when I've overdone it in a shift. I'll start getting more achy, my belly will hurt a little bit more, and I'm just trying to be very careful with that. Um, I'm always getting extra help. Even if I know I can get a patient up or turn a patient by myself, I oftentimes will get that extra set of hands just to be safe. Um, so that way I'm safe, baby safe, patient safe, and no one gets hurt. I'm still working 12 hour shifts. I work three days a week. Yes, it is very tiring. 12 hour shifts are tiring regardless if you're pregnant, but when you're pregnant, it's like a whole new level. So um, I've just been getting through my shifts, enjoying my days off. I plan to work up until I give birth. I say that now, but I just, that's my goal. If my body lets me do that, if my doctor says it's okay, then I plan to work up into the time that I deliver. Of course, I'm 17 weeks now. I still have 23 weeks or so to go, and so that may change, but as of now, that's my plan. Um, a lot of you have asked about eating and drinking and making sure you're eating enough or drinking enough. Is your work understanding if you need to eat snacks or take extra breaks or things like that? And yes, my work's been awesome. Like, There's times where I'm like, I need to eat something now because I feel super nauseous and my coworkers say, hey, you know, I'll watch your patients go downstairs really quick, grab some food from the cafeteria or go eat your snack, whatever. That has not been an issue. I'm super fortunate that my, the unit I work on, everyone works really well together and a lot of the nurses there are moms themselves, so they get it. They know how I'm feeling. They know that I need to take care of myself. And ultimately, like, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of your patients. So um, that's been... Pretty much it, I guess, about being pregnant, being a nurse. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down below. I'm trying to think of all the other stuff that people have asked me um, because a lot of you guys have just been curious. Um, a lot of you wanted to know when I told my work I was pregnant. I told them literally like two days after I found out, like the first day back to work, I told them I was pregnant so that they'd be aware. Um, but yeah, I'm just being extra careful, extra cautious, listening to my body and, you know, I was talking to another coworker of mine who is pregnant and we were talking about, 
you know, making sure we rest enough and how today, like my, that shift had been really busy for me. I'd walked like 20,000 steps or something ridiculous. And she's like, you need to make sure you rest tomorrow. It was my day off. And I was like, yes, I will. And it's so tempting to just keep pushing it and keep pushing it and not necessarily listen to your body. But at the end of the day, you want to listen to your body. Your body's telling you what you need, what your baby needs. And it's not worth pushing it that extra little bit and testing the limits because if God forbid something does happen to you or does happen to the baby, you're going to have to kind of live with that, so to speak, and not saying that whatever you do or did was the cause of whatever happened. I'm just saying, in general, I'm a woman. If you're pregnant, you're a woman, and we worry about every little thing. So just listening to my body has been key. So if you guys have any other questions about my pregnancy and nursing, um, leave them down below. I've done more in detail updates on my personal channel, which is linked down below. My vlog channel also has all those fun videos on pregnancy announcement and when we found out it was a girl and her name and all that. So if you're interested in seeing those, check out that down below. Those will have more specifics on everything. This is just kind of pregnancy slash being a nurse related. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.